The purpose of this video is to propose a methodology in exploratory multivariate data analysis and uh, how to perform a principal component method with a factor minor. We can suggest some questions that, yeah, that are important to answer before performing a principal component method. So first question, are there groups of variables? So I mean, are there different sources of information? In this case, we want to take into account these different sources of information and consider different groups of variables. So in this case, we, we will perform a multiple factor analysis with a factor minor. Second question, which kind of information do we, do we have? Do we have a contingency table? So in this case, we have rows and columns. And in a cell, we have the number of occurrences that uh, a rose is present in a, a colon. So for example, we have in rows the spaces and uh, in columns we have the seats. And in the cell, we have the number of times a species is present in a seat. So we can also have textual data. So in rows, we have some texts and in columns, we have some words. So in this case, we, we want to perform a correspondence analysis. So with the CA function of factor minor, or if we have several contingency tables and we want to compare the information from these different contingency table, we can perform a multiple factor analysis. Another kind of information is table with individuals in rows and variables in columns. So in this case, there are different principal component methods such as PCA, multiple correspondence analysis, factor analysis on mixed data, or multiple factor analysis if we have groups of variables. So what are the active elements? This is an important question. So because uh, the active element will uh, participate to the construction of the dimensions of the principal component method. So these are the only elements that uh, are used to perform the analysis, to construct the dimension. And the other elements that are supplementary are just used to better interpret the dimension, to better understand the information bring by the active elements. So we can have uh, supplementary rows or supplementary columns if we have a contingency tables or supplementary individuals or supplementary quantitative variables or qualitative variables or supplementary groups of variables. So these are some uh, arguments that can be used in the principal component methods with the uh, minor. Another question is, what is the type of the active variables? So I really mean the active variables only, because whatever the method with factor minor, we can perform a principal component analysis, for example, with continuous and categorical variables. But for the principal component analysis, the active variables must be continuous. So we need to have continuous variables to perform the PCA, and then we can have supplementary variables that are continuous and or that are categorical. So we can also have categorical variables to better interpret the dimension of the PCA. So if all the active variables are categorical variables, we can perform a multiple correspondence analysis. And if in the active variables there are both continuous and categorical variables, we, we will perform a factorial uh, analysis on mixed data. And of course, if we have groups of variables and with groups of variables that are continuous and groups of variables that are categorical, we can perform a multiple factor analysis. If we want to perform a principal component analysis or a multiple factor analysis with uh, continuous groups of variables, we need to answer to the question, should the variables be standardized or not? This question is important because if we standardize, it means that all the variables will contribute at the same for the construction of the dimension. 
and if we do not standardize then the variables that have a higher variance will contribute more than the other so if the units of the variables are not the same it is necessary to standardize but if the units of the variables are the same we can standardize or not it depends on the the problems so if you want to standardize the variables you will perform a standardized PCA and use the argument scale unit equal true another question is uh, are there missing values so if there are missing values you can use the package MISMDA to first impute the dataset so the functions in this package will impute the dataset in order to perform a principal component method on a completed dataset so you first impute the dataset and then you can perform the usual method the PCA, MCA or MFA as usual so the imputation is done in a way that the imputed values do not contribute to the construction of the dimension so once you have answered to all these questions you can perform the principal component methods so the PCA, MCA, uh, factorial analysis on mixed data or MFA then you want to interpret the results so to better interpret the results you can use some tools the first tool is that you can describe the dimensions using the original variables so the variables of the data set and you can use the function which is named dimdesk so this function will describe the dimensions with the continuous and the categorical variables of the uh, data set both the active and the supplementary variables it is a, a, a tool to better interpret the results and you can also perform a clustering on the individuals and then of course describe the clusters so uh, performing a clustering on the results of a principal component method is interesting because the principal component method will concentrate the information on the first dimensions and then uh, the last dimension can be considered as noise so principal component methods can be seen as a denoising method and uh, performing a clustering using the first dimension of a principal component method will contribute to have a clustering that is more stable more robust than performing a clustering on all the data and it is also interesting to perform uh, clustering on the results of a multiple correspondence analysis because you can perform the clustering on uh, continuous variables the dimension of the multiple correspondence analysis are continuous so you can perform the clustering as uh, usual uh, and uh, at the beginning you have variables that are categorical so the multiple correspondence analysis is a way to transform categorical variables in continuous variables this is a methodology that can be used before performing a principal component method and using the factor minor package so you can see the different videos on PCA, MCA or MFA